We move up the card to Alejandro Pantoa versus Alex Perez, and in the parallel universe, Alex P Alejandro Pantoa is fighting for a title at this point of his career, but unfortunately for him, it just hasn't really ended up like that. He's taking on Alex Perez, who... Alex Perez has had so many cancelled fights since his last fight against Davis and Figueredo, like... It's actually crazy to me how many cancelled fights this guy has had. Um, yeah, he fought for Gear at the end of 2020, 2020, sorry, and he looked to return in 2021, and he had cancelled fights against Match Now and Asker Askarov, and they finally decided to just give up on that idea. And now they're putting him up against Alejandro Pantoa, but I think Alejandro Pantoa, just a more well-rounded fighter. I think he's got really good jiu-jitsu. I think if the fight gets to the mat, Alejandro Pantoa's got his number, and he's going to look for a submission win. You know, like Alex Perez, he lost to Joey Benavidez. That was about four years ago. Might I know, by ground and pound TKO. That was on the ground, and then he got guillotined uh, by Davison Figueredo, who was the champion at the time, I believe. Um, I'm, a bit of, I'm a bit of a wounder at the moment. I'm really tired. I'm overtired from work. I'm sorry, guys. And I'm near the end of the video. I'm going to push through it, and we'll hustle. But, um, yeah, I've really got an Alejandro Patoa by submission on this one. I'm, I'm quite confident in him. I really like the minus 160 price tag. I feel like a, 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 a parlay I'm seeing, or, or a two-piece, I guess you'd call it, is Ankalaev plus Pantoa. I'm seeing that a lot go around on Instagram right now. A lot of people are parlaying those two together, and I do understand why. And, uh, yeah, the Perez is just the activity, man. He's fought five times in about, what, three and a half years, and he's 30 years old. You know, I just, I just, I just don't really know how I feel about that. Alejandro Pantoa's fought more often than him. He's fought guys at the top, like he beat Manuel Karp. Mano Cup popped for, popped, uh, not under USADA, but he popped under something. So Mano Cup was probably on PEDs at that time. He beat a roided up uh, Mano Cup. Uh, he beat Brandon Royval recently in a great fight. Um, yeah, I, I, th I just think he beats Alex Freeze. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I don't really know what to say. I just think he beats Alex, Alex Freeze by, by, by submission. I, I just believe that. I don't really know what else, what else I, I need to add. Um, this is such a terrible video. I'm really sorry, <laughs> but I think Pantoa wins, and I apologize for the for the lack of quality in that one. But it's it's just my pick, and Alejandro Pantoa submission.